You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Okay, welcome. We'll call the special uh, Board of Selectmen's meeting for uh, August 8th, 2018 to order. Um, item one, we have a presentation of accommodations. Uh, I just want to first say, you know, our, our rec department offers, obviously, we know throughout the, the year a number of programs. However, uh, throughout the summertime, certainly those activities and programs certainly uh, uh, increase uh, significantly. Um, you know, we have a lot of activity at the beach, the camps that we provide, uh, the um, hospice pool, um, a number of travel events that occur, and, you know, Uh, the children that they're overseeing, uh, we, we have some confidence that they're in great hands and there's a lot of uh, uh, um, professionalism and thought and sh I think there's uh, a sense of trust with the uh, throughout the community that the uh, kids are in good hands. However, it's important to <clears throat> recognize too that we rely on a lot of seasonal temporary staff to uh, meet the demand that spikes during the summertime. And the town goes through a very rigorous process in, in ensuring we hire and, uh, and provide proper training. The rec department provides training to their employees uh, to, to ensure that, you know, we are certainly providing the uh, um, care and the oversight and uh, the programs that uh, we, we've, we have here in Brantford. Um, you may have heard there was an article written, uh, two incidents and, uh, that took place, which I think just speak to the, uh, the department and the staff and th that they hire and uh, um, the commitment from uh, even the, the part-time and seasonal staff uh, that is hired and, and the responsibility that's put on them, but the fact that the support they get, the training that they get, that um, even at a relatively uh, young adults are able to step up and, and when time is needed. Um, so with that, I'd like to recognize two individuals, uh, Victor Amatori and Chris Delise. Uh, two, we had two events that occurred, uh, one with Victor Amatori, who's a longtime employee who started off as a uh, part-time seasonal many years ago. and. Uh, uh, but certainly uh, has been with the department for a number of years. And, um, you know, there was a child who was uh, choking and, and through, uh, Victor was able, through his quick actions, uh, address that and, and perform the Heimlich maneuver. And uh, uh, certainly, uh, you know, the family, the town, and the child are all grateful for your quick thinking, Victor. And Chris Delise, who is uh, at the hospice pool, where we had a preschooler uh, slip in, fall in, went under where Chris was reacted quickly. Again, uh, this is a, a seasonal employee who didn't hesitate to step up and, and reacted quickly. Uh, and, and those are things that um, I think ought to be recognized and we ought to uh, certainly recognize the two individuals, but I also want to just recognize the department and the staff as a whole for all the work they do. So with that, I'd invite Victor and Chris up. Uh, and I first have uh, a certificate of accommodation presented to Chris Delise in recognition of your outstanding actions in rescuing a preschooler after he had fallen into the pool. Thank you. Thank you. And next, uh, Victor Amatori, a certificate of accommodation uh, in recognition of your outstanding actions by performing the Heimlich maneuver and saving a four year old boy. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks to the commission. Thank Thanks you. for everybody for allowing us to, uh, you know, do our job. 
be here and for uh, giving us this award. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item two. To consider and if appropriate, approve a request from Fire Chief Tom Mahoney to waive bid for the remounting of a 2010 Lifeline module to a 2019 Ford E450 chassis and award the contract to Eastford Fire and Rescue Sales incorporated in the amount of $159,791. Excuse me. Thank you, uh, for Selectman Cosgrove. We're um, coming before the board tonight to look to waive the bidding process. Um, we, we have um, purchased the last four ambulances from Eastward Fire Rescue. Um, this year we're, we're um, going to be remounting one of those um, boxes onto a new cabin chassis. The reason that we're requesting the bid waiver is if we um, use Eastford Fire Rescue, who's the authorized uh, um, lifeline dealer, and put that to get uh, the existing box on a new cabin chassis, they'll warranty it as if it is a brand new ambulance. Um, remounting also saves us a significant amount of money. A new ambulance is approximately 250000 with the stretcher and the floor mount, where this is going to cost us um, just under $160,000. So. That's what we're looking to do. All right. Any questions? Yeah. We've used this company before. Absolutely. With, with good results, fourth, correct? Fourth ambulance, um, new ambulance for purchase. Now we're going to do a remount with them. Okay. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Oh, absolutely. Second. Second. All right. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Item three, to consider and if appropriate approve a request from Dan Gregory, Superintendent, Wastewater Pollution Control Facility, to waive the bid for construction and excavation services for the WPCF and designate Quality Associates, associates as emergency and on-call vendor for fiscal year 2018-2019. Uh, Dan provided us um, with the letter as, as well as the uh, hourly rates um, as you know we this board has approved a number of emergency repairs after the fact that they occur um, and uh, so what Dan would like to do is have this uh, particular contractor who's uh, familiar with our our system um, has performed work for the uh, town as the treatment uh, plant and uh, they have provided a set rates so they can use them for um, not only emergency but some maintenance and repairs uh, to the um, infrastructure yeah um, these rates seem to be pretty much in line with industry standards there is also um, a uh, any materials typically will buy the materials or have them provided if uh, there's an instance where it's emergency and the uh, contractor needs to go out and uh, supply the materials it'll be a 10 percent markup on materials uh, provided by quality um, i don't know if there's anything else you want to add to yeah. that dan well well sometimes like we've been fortunate where a few times we've had uh, public works has been able to come in and help us out and those are on some of the small jobs they have helped us on some things but uh, public works doesn't have the big enough equipment to get in deeper if we need to and this just makes it um, a little bit easier to so that that they're on the list and um, there's someone to call even if I'm not around there's somebody to, to got my my staff knows who to call yeah, and as far as the call in I believe you know there's some some repairs and maintenance of the system that really are straightforward or just uh, replacing what's there um, and don't necessarily you know to go through um, they need to be addressed and rather than going through a formal bid spec bidding and which we're you know can easily go up to you know three weeks to a month before the work is actually is able to commence um, this would allow some uh, efficiency in that aspect right as well. And also, too, the prices are, are going to last for the year, fiscal year. Yeah. And it doesn't cost anything unless you use it, right? Excuse me? It doesn't cost anything unless you use them. Right. 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 There's no guarantee uh, 
that um, work will be given. There's no minimum. Um, and at any point in time, the town can reserve the right to still go out to bid or solicit other prices, but this would just allow. Um, yeah, it's another tool in the toolbox. Right. I'll make the motion to approve. I second it. All right. Any further discussion? Hearing on all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks. Item four, to consider an appropriate approval request from Dan Gregory, Superintendent WPCF, to waive the bid for the pump station services and award the work for upgrading pump station control panels and alarm dialers to Control Systems of Connecticut, Inc. for fiscal year 18-19. Dan, yeah. pretty much the same thing. You want to just speak a little bit sure. about the uh, Indu company? Mm, yeah. Uh, we've used control systems for a number of years now. Um, he's helped us out with upgrading some of the smaller pump stations with our control panels. And one of the things that we that I that I strive to do, and Manny before me had also strive, is to standardize certain equipment in the plant. So Manny took the lead by getting home of pumps. They're a cheaper pump, but they're also in Connecticut. If I have to take one and go get it rebuilt, um, he started using CSI, which is Control Systems, um, and this particular uh, vendor is pretty adept at fixing them, repairing them, uh, ordering them. And I'm trying to keep all those, I've got 50 pump stations. So the more I keep standardized, the better. And I've upgraded a lot of them so far, but there's still more to do. And also he's, he's good in the repairs. He also went through all my verbatim dialers, which is it's pretty cheap to run that alarm system. It's only cost me like 600 and change for monitoring that whole system. So we just upgraded the computers, the alarm computers. I've got new um, software for it as well. That's all verbatim. And this guy is pretty savvy on programming them. He can do it from his phone, you know, uh, which he's done kind of like on the job training because he went through every pump station, gave us an updated list uh, on improvements that we needed and that we are making. Um, so being that, like I'm trying to standardize everything, I don't want to run into the point where, you know, they add up and then I'm over the bid limit, you know. This here, it's like, and he's another go-to guy. He's there, if you need him in the middle of the night, he'll be there. Um, he also gets along, you know, he works good with the crew. He knows the system pretty well, the alarm system pretty well. Um, and he, he does good work. And he's also done safety upgrades for the pump stations which I have to do by OSHA, like putting in the uh, fall nets. He's changed the, um, the lid covers to make them safety, like a standard so that they're not, you know, you can rest a pump on them, they're not gonna fall in. And some of the pump stations are old, some of the pump stations are really tiny because they're in the condominiums. And I still have to maintain them, I still have to upgrade them, they still have to be safe, and they gotta work. So I still got generators to put in, I got more control panels to put in, and it can happen overnight, but he's one of the guys I want on my team to help me through. Sounds good to me. Recommend approval. Great explanation. I'll second it. All right. All and again, these, and again, these prices are for the fiscal year. Yeah. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Thanks. Man. Thanks, guys. Just made my work a lot easier. Okay. Item five, to consider and if appropriate approve a request from the owner of Beach Donuts for the placement of a bistro table and two chairs on the sidewalk in front of 556 Main Street. There's a sketch provided. You see there's uh, just over eight feet, eight feet, four inches from the width of sidewalk there. He's proposing to put a 24 inch uh, table and two chairs. Um, <coughs> so it still seems that there will be uh, adequate um, Passage uh, going through there um, for pedestrians. It's important to maintain. Uh, any issue? Make a motion we approve. Uh, we've had the we have them throughout the town. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a problem with maintenance. Seems to be a problem. No problem. Seems to be working. Uh, we would be hearing something. No. I haven't heard anything. And my birthday is August 11th. I just <laughs> I just write that in the notes to follow. <laughs> big party. Huh? Big party. Uh, three, four, big. <laughs> so one more than last year. Uh, Two more than that. <laughs> hey, uh, we got a second that? Did you make a motion, Jay? I, I, uh, yeah. second yeah. second uh, yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> 
Um, item six, to consider and if appropriate, approve a, approve a request from Nancy Cohen, Activities Coordinator, Canoe Brook Senior Center, for the exemption as permitted by section 115-4 of the Code of the Town of Brantford regarding the consumption of alcoholic beverages in a public area and allow the serving of beer and wine at the following events. Hello. The Lobster Clam Bake Dinner Party, August 29th. Autumn Dinner Party, September 24th. Harvest Dinner Party, October 10th. That's it. Motion to approve. Approve. Second. Uh, discussion? Aaron, at all in favor, say aye. 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 Item 7, green use. To consider and, if appropriate, approve a request from the Brantford Recreation Department for the use of the town green on Friday, October 19, 2018, or a rain date of October 21, 2018, to hold rent in concert. Make a motion we approve. <laughs> I second that. Okay. Second. All, right. All in favor say aye. 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 Just out of curiosity, Tristan, does that go through the PD? Do they know about it? Well, the PD does get a list of all the events once they've been approved. Okay. Okay, item eight, to consider, and, if, and just to interject, a lot of times when uh, somebody's coming in to organize an event, mm -hmm. even prior to them uh, coming for an approval, we send, you know, have them speak to the uh, police chief and the fire chief you know, to uh, sure what's required. Okay. Uh, item eight, to consider if appropriate, approve the following resolution. A resolution adopting the 2018 South Central Regional Multi-Jurisdiction Hazard Mitigation Plan update. Whereas the town of Brantford has historically experienced damage from natural hazards and it continues to be vulnerable to the effects of those hazards Profiled in the plan, i.e. flooding, drought, ice jams, hurricanes, severe winter storms, thunderstorms, tornadoes, and wildfires, resulting in loss of property and life and threats to public health and safety. And whereas the town of Brantford has developed and received conditional approval from the Federal Emergency Management Agency for its hazard mitigation plan update entitled South Central Regional Multi-Jurisdiction Hazard Mitigation Plan Update 2018, and where under the requirements of 44 CFR 201.6 and whereas public and committee meetings were held throughout the planning process regarding the development and review of the plan and whereas the plan specifically addresses hazard mitigation strategies and plan maintenance procedures for the town of Brantford and whereas the plan recommends several hazard mitigation actions projects that will provide mitigation for specific natural hazards that impact the town of Brantford with the effect of reducing vulnerabilities and protecting people and property from loss associated with those hazards and whereas adoption of the plan will make the town of Brantford eligible for funding to reduce long-term risks of future hazards now therefore be it resolved by the Board of Selectmen of the Town of Brantford, the plan is hereby adopted as an official plan of the Town of Brantford. The respective officials identified in the mitigation strategy of the plan are hereby directed to pursue implementation of the recommended actions assigned to them. Future revisions and plan maintenance are required by 44 CFR 201.6 and FEMA are hereby adopted as part of the resolution for a period of five years from the date of this resolution. And an annual report on the progress for the implementation elements of the plan shall be presented to the Board of Selectmen by the town engineer. In accordance with the authority vested in the Board of Selectmen of the town of Brantford, they thereby adopt the South Central Regional Multi-Jurisdiction Hazard Mitigation Plan Update 2018. All right, we get a motion to approve that resolution. Can you read it again? Could you repeat? That? <laughs> 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 I, uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Second. All right, any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Nine, reappointments, Parks and Open Space Authority, Connie Drysdale and J Joseph Bloomberg, terms to expire June 30th, 2021. Make a motion we approve. Second that. All right, all in favor say aye. Aye. aye.
do have a letter of correspondence from Zach. Dear Cherry Mahoney and First Selectman Cosgrove, it will be sincerely appreciated if both of you will consider this letter of accommodation for the following fire department employees, firefighter paramedic Richard Hart, firefighter paramedic Joseph Lavicini, Lavicina, Captain Joseph Karpovich. Uh, Jason Carpenter, I'm sorry. On Friday evening, July 20th, 2018, my fire CO2 detectors went off. I thought at first the batteries were low and needed to be changed. They continued to go off. In the basement, one detector said, warning, carbon monoxide. I then looked for several minutes in the condo. I then went to the stove and saw one gas burner was still on low. I was boiling corn for supper and turned the other burners off and forgot to turn the one off. I called 911 one and reported the continuing alarms. The 911 dispatcher was very professional. He said he will dispatch the fire department. Engine one arrived within several minutes. The men immediately detected a high CO2 at 30 parts per million. They immediately opened all windows. In the basement there was a higher reading. I told the men I forgot to turn one burner off because they were trying to find the source. I spoke to the men about my first priority, which are the two birds I have. They said they should be fine because the CO2 was caught early. They recommended I take the birds to the emergency veterinarian. I left and went to the North Haven while the men stayed until the house was safe to enter. Fortunately, the birds had no effects. I was instructed to watch the birds for two days. The men were very professional and provided superb emergency service. I told the men it was my fault and I take responsibility for forgetting to turn off one gas one gas burner off from low. Their comment was, we were glad we came and the detectors worked. The men left approximately at 1 a.m. Chief Mahoney, this is formally requested you personally commend your men and present this letter to the Fire Commission. For Selectman Cosgrove, it is also formally requested you commend the men at the next Board of Selectmen's meeting. These men need to be recognized and commended. Also, please ensure this letter of commendation is placed in their personnel file. Thank you for your time. Respectfully and sincerely, Ed Zach Jr. All right, so I said we'll send a letter of commendation. Uh, to the three men. Excellent. Certainly appreciate Mr. Zach taking the time to yep. write a letter and express his gratitude. All right. Very nice. Any other comments? Hearing none. And a motion to approve. Uh, adjourn. Make a motion. We adjourn. Okay. Uh, I second that. All in favor say aye. 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 This program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at BrantfordTV.org.